Hi guys and welcome to another Divi4 WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well I had a great question on one of my videos and it was a chap asked if you could create a back to the top button that stays there all the time. Of course Divi's got one built in if I scroll down you'll see it appear there it is it appears when you're a little way down the screen here pops out there but this guy wants one that just stays there all the time well we could go in and change the script for this button here but that's a bit of a palaver so what we probably want to do is create our own from scratch just using sections and a bit of CSS so let's do that first thing I want to do is go and turn Divi's back to the top button off so if we go back to the dashboard and we'll go down to theme options we're on the Divi theme options under the general tab and if we scroll down here one of these switches is the back to the top button back to the top button there it is so I'll just flip that from enabled to disabled so it's no longer there okay let's save our changes got our check mark let's go back to the site just check that it's not there let's refresh the page now when I scroll down it should not appear and it does not fantastic that's just what we want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the visual builder and it'll enable us to build it on the front end here I'm using the fantastic Divi theme here and if you want to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video well, let's go down and what we're going to do I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I'm going to create a new section so I'm at the bottom here this is our footer so that's no good and here's our last section so I want to hit the little button add a new section regular section I want one column one row and to make our little button today you could use an image or you could just use text I'm going to use a blurb module because it's got an icon in there and I'm just going to delete all the stuff I don't want so I don't want any text in there I guess you could put back to top in there if you wanted to but I don't want any text on my button let's get rid of this so now we've got if I scroll up a bit and get this out of the way now we've got a just an image all the text is gone but I don't want an image either I want an icon so if we scroll down we're still on the content tab the image and icon let's hit use icon let's find uh, something that looks like a back to the top I mean you could have an up arrow of any flavor there's one right there let's just put that one in great okay well blue tabs for the section green tabs for the row dark tabs for the module I'm going to make the row full width and scoot this over to the right hand side so let's go into the row to the cog left click design down to size and width I'm going to slide that all the way up and I'm going to copy that 100% control C and I'm going to paste that in to max width there there we go now our, our, width, our row is actually full width so let's save that you can see here when I'm scrolling over it the row is now full width let's move our icon over to the right and also I want to make it a little bit smaller and we're gonna to have to use a bit of custom CSS to do some of this don't worry I'll put any CSS that I write today below the video and you can copy it and use it if you need to so I'm gonna go back into the module I'm gonna go over to design image and icon color well I'm gonna change that in a moment So I'm going to go down to icon font size and I'm going to make it smaller by just scooting this back a little bit until it's about the size that I want it. And I am also need to scoot it over to the right hand side here. So let's go down to the bottom of our design tab and let's go to transform and we'll use the translate again which is the second tab so basically we can move it across I'm going to uncheck that because I really just want to move 
it horizontally, not vertically. I'm just going to keep pulling it until it's whoop, all the way over about there. Now that's gone to minus three picks. I want to put that back to zero. There we go. That's fine. That's where I want it. So what I want it to do, I want to change its color. I want to give it a, a background, which we can't do with the actual default setting. So let's go to advanced, go to custom CSS. Let's just see what color I chose for this icon. That's because I'm going to want to copy that color. There it is right there. And I'm actually now going to make that icon white. It'll disappear because it's on a white background. But I'm going to go to my advanced and with the CSS, I'm going to go down to blurb image because it is actually the image. We're using an icon, not an image, but this is the box for the icon. And I'm going to say background. And I'm going to paste in that hex code, that blue. And as you can see, it's popped up there. Fantastic. Now I've got a little dot there. I'm going to left click on it because I'm going to bring the opacity down or the see throughness down so that when it glides over stuff, you can still see some of the stuff behind there. So it's something like that. That's fine. Now I'm going to put a semicolon because I want to add a bit more code. I'm missing a bit of padding on the bottom and a padding on the right. So I think I'll add two or three pixels on the right and the bottom. So I'll say padding right. Try five pixels. Well, let's try three pixels. I think five is going to be too much. Yeah, that's about right. And let's do similar for the bottom. So I'm going to say padding. We say three pixels. I think we used before, didn't we? It's okay. We may have run out of space on that. Let's have a look. Let's try four pixels. And that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm also going to make these corners just slightly rounded by giving it a border radius of say five pixels. So border. Uh, yeah, we'll use five pixels. There we go. It's got slightly rounded borders now. So let's save that. It's all very good, but now when I scroll, it's just going to go up the page. It's going to disappear down the end of the page. And we want it to stay exactly where it is when we're scrolling the page. So it stays sort of somewhere around this area all the time. To do that, I'm going to go back into the section. I'm going to make this section a fixed section, kind of like I've done before in tutorials with a nav bar at the top. So we're going to make it sticky, basically. So we'll go in to the cog on the section, blue for the section. And again, I've got to write some custom code. So let's go over to advanced, custom CSS. And it's for the main element. First thing I'm going to do is write position fixed. You may see this disappear while I'm doing this coding, but we'll bring it back and put it where we want it. So let's say position, colon fixed. And as you can see, it's disappeared because we haven't told it where we want it to be fixed to. So let's say uh, right zero, semicolon, and let's say bottom. I think, in fact, we could steal the code from the back to the top button. I think that was 125 picks from the bottom. So let's say bottom 125 picks. And let's say we've got right, we've got left. So I want left zero, left zero, zero. Now let's make sure it's not hidden behind something. Let's give it a Z index of a nice high number. So let's say Z index of nine, nine. There it is. Yeah, that's what it was. I'll give it a huge number so it doesn't fall behind anything else. It's right there now, which is OK. And I'm in my section. And when we scroll, it is actually staying where I want it. 
that's good but there's this white background there that's no good we need to get rid of that so let's make sure it's not on our section if we go to our section background doesn't look like there's a color there but if we just click on it let's make sure by pulling the opacity all the way down yep there was a color there okay that's fine so when we scroll that's going to stay exactly where it is which is fine so now we may need to make it actually do something and I'm still in the section what I'm going to do is I'm going to Let's just save this a moment and I'll get out of this. I'm going to go up to the top and at the top of the site, first section up here, let's use the slider, it'll be quicker. This first section, I'm going to give a CSS ID, not a class, an ID, and I'm just going to call it top. So I'm going to go into the cog, left click, advanced, CSS ID, top one, ID. I'm just going to call it top call it what you like it's got to be unique for this page though there doesn't want to be anything else on this page called top or having an ID of top so now we've given this an ID we can actually tell this where we want it to go so let's just save that and go back into this module because it stayed there we don't have to go down to the bottom anymore if by chance you ever have a problem of things overlapping or if you translated something so it's not where you want it and you can't get to the module just click the little purple button down the bottom here and you can flip to what they call wireframe mode instead of sort of front end mode and you can get to all your modules that way so i'm going to go back to desktop view And I need to go into our section again. There it is. And I need to link it. Now our first box content, we've got a link. So I'm going to say hashtag because it's an ID. Whenever you're linking to an ID, you've got to put a hashtag first. So it's hashtag top. So it's hashtag and the name of whatever you've called that ID. And that should actually do it. Do I want to hover cover color? I don't think so, not on that button. So that's the only other thing we could do if we wanted to. So let's just save our changes and see if this is going to work. Save the module changes or section changes. Save the page changes. Let's exit the visual builder. And as you can see, there it is there. Let's scroll down the page and see if it's going to scroll back up to the top for us. Fantastic, just what we wanted. Like I say, you could put a hover color on there if you wanted to. But for me, that's actually just fine as it is. You can see everything through it fine. So there we have it. That is how to create a back to the top button that stays in place but is there all the time so i hope that's answered your question i hope you found that useful and you can do anything that way you can put any sort of module in here and have pop-ups and all kind of things if you need to so like i said i hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.